Hi Year 12s and welcome to this first video on calculus and today we're introducing a concept that is central to the idea of calculus called limits. And to explain what a limit is, a limit is where a function tends towards at a certain point. So say if you've got a function um, like this and you're wanting to know the limit as say x tends to um, 8 like here then basically we're just working out the y value um, of that function. That's one way to explain it. Now in some functions we get a situation where for whatever reason there's a part that of the function that doesn't exist that we usually represent with an open circle and sometimes we are interested in what the function value tends towards putting an x value in. So if you put an x value in what value do you get for the function even if you can't work it out directly. So that's the purpose of limits and we're going to look at two examples to illustrate it. So with this first example here it's very straightforward because it's just a matter of substituting in 8 for x. So we have 3 times 8 plus 2 which gives us 26. So if you're able to directly evaluate a limit you do that. That's the easiest way to do it. In our second example here, we're going to illustrate why that doesn't always work. So we'll try to directly substitute 5 in and see what we get. Now, if we put 5 squared plus 5 minus 30 into that top part of the function, we get 0. If we put 5 into the bottom part of the fu function, so 5 squared minus 9 times 5 plus 20, we also get 0. And 0 divided by 0, well, that doesn't exist. There's no way to determine how many times 0 goes into nothing. It, it's a nonsensical statement. So this is where we use the idea of limits to work out what it tends towards. And the way we do it in this particular case is we evaluate the function, or we simplify the function, to get it into a different form. So I'm going to factorise the top to get it into a different form. So the top of the function factorises to x plus 6, x minus 5. And the bottom of the function factorises to x minus 4, x minus 5. And you can see here we've got some cancelling that we can do. So what we're actually working out here is the limit as x tends to 5 of x plus 6 over x minus 4. Now if we put 5 into this function, let's see what we get. So we would have 5 plus 6, which is 11, and 5 minus 4, which is 1, which is just 11. So hopefully you can see here that when we originally put in 5, we got 0 over 0, which doesn't make any sense. But after simplifying our limit, we get this value of 11. And what this is saying is that this function here tends towards 11 when we put 5 into it, but when we put 5 directly into it, there's no way to evaluate it. So that's sort of a key to working out limits, simplifying first and then seeing if you can evaluate. So I've got some problems for you to practice underneath, and with each of these, I would like you to directly evaluate if you can, like that one. Or if you're able to, such as this one here, factorise and then simplify and then evaluate. So that's on one note for you. I'd like you to practice those. And once you've finished that, you can move on to the next video. Thank you.